Hello, my dear Wanderers, and welcome to the wonderful World Kids Podcast. If you ask someone to name one sea animal shrouded in myths and legends, the most likely answer is going to be octopus. And why not? They are one of the strangest creatures on earth. They're eight-armed, blue-blooded, color-changing, shape-shifting, and venomous. They represent one of the planet's most intelligent invertebrates. After all, they have nine brains. So where are these nine brains? Are they located on its arms? Can an octopus cut off its own arm and regrow it? And what makes the octopus blood blue? Let's find out in today's episode where we are talking about octopus. In ancient Greek terms, the word octo means eight and the word pus means foot. So the word octopus means eight-footed. The octopus is an invertebrate, which means it has no bones inside its body. Octopuses are a specific type of invertebrate called cephalopods. The word cephalopod literally means head-footed and refers to the fact that these animals' arms are directly connected to their heads. Apart from octopuses, squids and cuttlefish also belong to the group of cephalopods. Octopuses live in a variety of saltwater environments, from coral reefs to the dark seabed of the deepest parts of the ocean. They live in all the world's oceans, but are specially abundant in warm tropical waters. Some species of octopuses live in shallow water, whereas others live in deep water. Dumbo octopuses are the deepest living of all known octopuses. They live in deep ocean at depths of nearly 13,000 feet. The size of an octopus also varies based on its species. Some octopuses are very small, but some are humongous. The smallest known octopus species is called the wolfy octopus. It is a very small octopus with a length of almost one inch and weight close to one gram or 0.04 ounce. It is almost the size of a bottle cap. Whereas the biggest species of octopus is the giant Pacific octopus. This octopus weighs nearly 110 pounds or 50 kilograms and grows close to 16 feet in length. That is nearly the height of a two-story house. Octopuses are solitary creatures and they live alone in small holes and crevices in rocks and coral. They can even build their own dens with rocks. Octopuses lay eggs. The number of eggs a female octopus can lay varies depending on the species. But octopuses can produce tens of thousands of eggs in a single clutch. Once the eggs are laid, the mommy octopus arranges these eggs together in long strings that look like clusters of eggs. The eggs then incubate anywhere from 2 to 10 months, depending on the species and the water temperature. The octopus hatchlings that come out of the eggs are very tiny in size. These hatchlings typically feed on plankton and other small organisms until they grow large enough to take down bigger prey. As for food habits, octopuses are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Octopuses can eat crabs, clams, lobsters, snails, and small fishes. Lifespan of octopuses varies according to species but they live roughly between 1 to 5 years. Now, let's talk about the body of an octopus. An octopus 
has a dome-shaped mantle which acts like a bag and contains all its vital organs, such as kidneys, liver, and heart. It has eight arms which are connected together at the base by a webbed structure. And on its underside, at the center point of its eight arms, lies its mouth, which also has a strong beak. The beak helps the octopus to crush the shells of its prey. An octopus has three hearts. Two of the hearts pump oxygen-rich blood through the gills, while the third circulates it through the rest of the body. Many people refer to octopus limbs as tentacles, but technically, octopuses don't have any tentacles at all. Instead, they have arms. Tentacles have suction cups only near the end of the limb, but arms, like those on an octopus, have suction cups the entire length of the limb. These suction cups, called suckers, are very powerful and are useful for walking or grabbing things. Octopuses have hundreds of these suckers along their arms. At the base of each arm is a group of neurons. Neurons are tiny particles that make up our brains, and an octopus brain is also made of neurons. But about two thirds of these neurons are located in its arms. The rest are in the central brain, which is located in the octopus's head. With all those neurons, each arm can take in lots of information and act like a mini brain. The suckers on an octopus's arms allow it to smell and taste, so an octopus can taste its food just by touching it. And the arms can think about what to do next without sending any messages back to the brain. Octopuses are incredibly dexterous. They can twist open screwed up jars, peel apart oysters, and create their own dens by arranging rocks. And that's not all. Octopus arms are very special due to a few more reasons. If threatened, an octopus can detach its own arm and swim away. The octopus can then regrow its lost arm. And even after being cut off, the detached arm of an octopus continues to operate on its own for up to an hour. It even tries to pick up food and feed it into a mouth that is no longer there. Now that is incredible. And the incredibility of an octopus doesn't end there. Another strange fact about an octopus is the color of its blood. An octopus's blood is blue in color. The blue color comes from a protein in its blood called hemocyanin, which contains copper. Octopuses are experts at disguising themselves so they can blend in with their surroundings. One way they do it is by changing color. Octopuses can change color in an instant. An octopus's skin has special cells called chromatophores that help them change the color of their skin in the blink of an eye. Some species can also change their skin texture, making it smoother or bumpier, so they can camouflage themselves in rocks and foliage. Almost all octopuses have an ink sac, which produces ink. If threatened, octopuses shoot this ink from their body. This darkens the water around them and confuses the predator chasing them. This ink also contains some chemicals that can temporarily paralyze the sense of smell in the predator. This gives enough time for the octopus to run away. Octopuses are one of the most intelligent invertebrates. They can retain complex memories and can differentiate between human individuals. Research has shown that the brain capacity of a giant Pacific octopus is roughly the same as that of a dog. Octopuses are very curious, and they like to learn new things. Scientists have observed octopuses using tools and solving mazes and puzzles. And that is 
all from us today. Thank you so much for listening. If you like our podcast, please subscribe to us and recommend our podcast to your friends and family. And if you want to get in touch with us, then you can write to us at wonderfulworld.kids at gmail.com. In our next episode, we are talking about the sunscreen that protects our Earth. It is a very thin layer of a particular gas that surrounds our Earth. So what are we talking about in our next episode? Tune in next time to find out. This was episode number 30, where we spoke about the octopus. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering.